every white person has met black people before and seen them on TV. This is not anything new in America. So back to Dr. Laura and this African-American woman. See, Dr. Laura, she's one of those white people who want to explain away racism by just saying, if we can say the N-word, if we can say nigger, then racism doesn't exist. That's how simple-minded and retarded the right is. That's how simple-minded and retarded Dr. Laura and the rest of the Republican Party are. They actually think that if they can convince black people as a whole to say it's okay for them to say the N-word, that they're no longer racist. And I can tell every last one of you racist people right now, that ain't never going to happen. Ever. Black people are never going to allow you to say the word nigger. Not to us. Not even in the privacy of your own stations while the microphones are on. Never. Not even in the privacy of your own businesses while we work there or we don't work there. Never. You see, we don't have a problem with the, the, the white youth. It's just all white people 50 and up. The age of racism has been pinpointed. You all know exactly what being racist is. And saying the N-word and you're white is being a racist. This chick's going nigger, 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 nigger. And she's still trying to explain why she's not a racist. No. All the black guys on HBO say it. Well, let me say this to you. If all the black guys on HBO decided what they're going to do is they're going to get whips and start whipping each other across the stage because they find it funny and hilarious to just start whipping the hell out of each other. Do you think as a white person you should be able to grab one of those whips and start whipping the black people on the stage? Well, I'm going to tell you something about black men since the black guys do it to each other is that they will whoop the shit out of your ass and try and kill you on the day you pick up a whip because they're whipping each other and you decide that you can do it too. You know, there's some other things that black men do all the time. Do you know they have sex with their wives? Do you think that you should be able to come in and have sex with his wife because he does it all the time? I'm going to tell you once again, he's going to kill you. Do you know something else that black men do? They diaper their children. So, do you think you should be able to come up and grab their children by the leg while holding a diaper in your mouth and pulling down their pants? Well, I can guarantee you, black men will kill you as soon as you touch their damn children. There's a whole lot of things that black men do all the time to each other. But that is their choice. That is within our group that we decide what the rules are in our group you are no longer able to have a choice you had your choices while you were being racist during slavery time you had your choice while you was being racist during Jim Crow you had your choice then and your choice was to be an evil racist seething devil demon what you are, Dr. Laura. There's no way around that. But for you African-American women, know what you're getting into. Don't be mad at us because we have better judgment and we don't choose racist partners. Don't be mad. That is your problem. We could have told you that he was going to have a bunch of racist friends. Yeah, they ask those questions of you because they like to annoy you. Because they like you being racist. Your husband's a racist. And so are all of his friends. And that's the life in which you live. And just to hear Dr. Laura say, Well, you should have thought of that before dating outside your race. That's not racist. I call that racist, dating outside your race. Now you know, black women, why those words, dating outside your race, sound ridiculous. But you're getting a taste of it. You understand it now. It's racist saying that. Date outside race 2010 is ridiculous. Oh, you know something else? 
this woman sitting up there talking about don't NAACP me. Now, how can you tell me that's not racist? This lady believes that she's above being judged by organizations older than she is. And I know that's saying a lot. Sorry, old racist lady, you cheated on your husband so you can get a radio gig, so you can start your career. You hoard yourself. That's what you are. And now you have exposed yourself as a racist. So therefore, you are being judged as a racist and a whore. And let me explain something else to you white people, since you want to get really confused. Just because the bodyguard that you pay doesn't tell you that you're a racist jackass doesn't mean that you're no longer racist. Look, you can't pay people out of your racism. It doesn't work that way. You just can't sit up there and start handing out $20 bills. Tell them that I'm not racist. Tell them that I'm not racist. Look, I'm going to tell you straight up. Black people will take your 20 and still tell you that you're racist. We're honest people. And if you can't tell, I'm smiling right now. Just because he's willing to ignore the fact that you're a racist old witch does not mean that it's okay for you to walk out into the world and think that you can just say anything to any black person walking on the street. They may not take kindly to it. So, let me give the white people my last tidbit so that you'll have a clear understanding to why just because one group does something that it's okay for the other group to join in. So we'll start with the WWE. The WWE when they're in the ring, or outside the ring, or behind the scenes, have a tendency to pick up tables and chairs and hit each other in the head with it. They do it all the time. Every episode, dang near. They hitting themselves with something, or throwing people somewhere. So, Dr. Laura, and the rest of the racists, since you think this way, and since you're so obviously self-imposed confusion when you see a WWE wrestler because you're just confused pick up a chair and try and hit that man with it and I can guarantee you as soon as he realizes what you have done don't complain now he is going to pick your racist stupid ass up and he is going to body slam you, whether male or female, into the concrete. And guess what? He will be well within his legal right to do so. Because you, my dear, are racist and retarded. Yeah! <laughs> hey, a lot of people always ask, what's the dirty does? What y'all used to do? Let me tell you. Uh. My mama and your mama was playing in a ditch. You a lie. Uh -uh. My mama called your mama on all head some up. That's not even true. That's not right. Bring out your children yeah, and let them yeah. play with sticks. We, we was poor. When uh, they get older, I let them play yeah, with eggs. Yeah. We were bad kids, always skipping school, smoking on the, drinking on the cold brew. See, it got me feeling cool. Then we go to the park, fucked up and shoot. Ooh, it was Rose, Ed, Tony, Rio, and then me. Plus, Rhino, Carl, and Al, and Smokey G. Had the sickest little click, respected LG. Oh, we kept you in the hood and beat you to the street. Let's go. It's time to hit up the mall. Grab a pen and a pad. And find some girls we can call. Look good, smell good, and buy this broke as a dog. Still pulling in bras, cause the nigga could talk. Hey, yo. Skits, I'm the man. Used to be the broke boy, and now I'm all rubber band. Hold oh, up, what you wanna do? You know that it's me. Holla at the blizz in China, you know that it's me. Let's go. My mama and your mama was playing in a ditch. You a lie. Uh -uh. My mama called your mama on all head some up. That's not even true, that's not right. Bring out your children and let them play with sticks. We, we was poor. Been in this game, been making it happen. Who 
in the hell would have thought that I would end up rapping? Remember playing double dust, hopping with one leg up?